Hey there, how you doing? Very well. Thanks so much for your time, Darren. Of course. Darren, first of all, how, what's the main challenge, you know, about reinventing such a popular franchise like Saw, but not only because it has so many fans, also because you actually helped creating it so many years back? Um, living up to expectations. I think that's always it. Um, because as, as I've stepped away, you know, 14 some years ago, it's continued and the, the legacies continue the lore. And so when I'm stepping back in now, the fan base has grown um, and there's this huge expectation that one of the original guys are coming back uh, and coming back with Chris Rock and Samuel Jackson. Uh, I think it's always trying to live up to the expectation, deliver to what the fans want, as well as uh, allow an entry point for new fans that have maybe never seen a Saw movie. Absolutely. And I mean, you know, the, the, the fans of so, of course, they understand the franchise and they, they, they know the tricks that you guys used in the, in the previous movies. So I was wondering how tricky has it become to be not only, you know, one step ahead, but like 10 steps ahead, st 10 steps ahead to make sure that, that even but, hardcore fans are surprised. Well, you know, it's, it's a hard, it's hard because you live in a, you live in an age now with Reddit and all of these other, other websites that, that fans will, will take every image given out and they will freeze frame it. And they will blow it up and they will, they will, uh, you know, a community of people will break it down. Uh, I, there was recently I saw on Reddit, someone actually took a behind the scenes picture, blew up a reflection and then tried to color correct it to see what was in the reflection. So you, you, you know, it's, it's very, it's very hard to keep secrets. Um, so you just got to keep, you, you got to do your best to deliver something they're not expecting. And I think that, you know, I think a lot of people expect twists in a movie uh, to be John Kramer standing off the floor like in Saw 1. But in a lot of respects, one of the twists of this movie is Chris Rock and, and the kind of humor he brings to it. Because as a Saw fan, I would never expect that. I would never expect the... Le I, imagine in Saw 3 there being a five-minute scene about Forrest Gump. You would never expect that. But in this movie, we have it. So I think Chris Rock interjected this whole level that, that in all audiences are really going to not not see coming. Absolutely. And, and you know, since since, of course, we always grow, you know, as human beings over time, but also as artists, I was wondering, is there something specific that you did in the previous Saw movies that you wanted to avoid this time? No, I mean, I think when I was doing the original Saw films, I was a lot younger. Um, I had hair back then. Uh, and I, I wanted to, uh, gore was always a big thing for me. I wanted to one up myself on the level of violence coming into this time. I didn't care as much about the violence. It, trust me. It's a, I mean, you've seen, it, it's a violent movie, bad shit happens, but to me, it was more about telling a story, a compelling story. Um, and then let the violence, you know, service the story as opposed to the serve the, the story servicing the violence. Absolutely. Darren, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Welcome I appreciate back it. Welcome to Saw and see you next time. It's good to be back. Thank you. Nice meeting you.